Good evening, this is Dante Steele on this slow Friday news day. Let's get to your top stories tonight anyways. This is Volt News Network. North Korea fired several cruise missiles into the Yellow Sea early Saturday morning around 4 a.m. local time, according to South Korea's military. This comes just days after North Korea launched two ballistic missiles into the Sea of Japan on Wednesday as part of a tactical nuclear strike drill. The ballistic missile launches on Wednesday were seen as a response to recent joint military exercises in the region conducted by the United States and others. South Korea said its military is maintaining full readiness and close cooperation with the U.S., while increasing monitoring and vigilance in light of North Korea's latest cruise missile launches. Russia announced it has deployed its new Sarmat Intercontinental Ballistic Missiles ICBMs, that can carry nuclear weapons for the first time in a combat duty capacity. The Sarmat missile is classified by Russia as a superweapon and was introduced in 2018. It has an estimated range of 6,200, 11,800 miles. President Putin previously boasted the Sarmat has no competition and would make Russia's enemies think twice before threatening it. He said it can overcome modern missile defense systems. And finishing up, the August jobs report showed unemployment unexpectedly rose to 3.8% as payrolls increased by 187,000. This was above estimates of 170,000 jobs added. The 3.8% unemployment rate in August was up from 3.5% in July and is the highest rate since February 2022. This comes after Jerome Powell of the Federal Reserve claimed that they may have to raise rates again to target growing inflation, and multiple banks are under review for credit downgrades. That is all we have to end your weekly news coverage on Volt News Network. Tune in this weekend for your special Saturday and Sunday deep dive and review shows. I'm Dante Steele. Have a good weekend. Good night.